Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So we will be continuing with our binary search playlist. Now this is the part of the ongoing Strivers A to Z DSA course. In case you are for the first time here and you haven't checked it out yet, there's a link in the description. You can definitely check it out because uh, it is something extremely special. So today's problem will be aggressive cows. But before moving on to the problem, I have covered up uh, binary search on 1D arrays where we did binary search on sorted arrays, rotated sorted arrays and similar to that. And then we moved on to binary search on answers where most of the problems were find the minimum of something or find the maximum of something. It had just one term, find min or find max. So the problem that we are going to solve today will be aggressive cause. But before moving on to that, I have covered up binary search on 1D arrays where we did all the problems on sorted arrays, rotated sorted arrays, right? After that, we moved to binary search on answers where we did all the problems where we had to figure out find min or find max. Now we will be moving to the other pattern of binary search on answers where we'll be asked to find min of max or max of min. So we'll be doing around four to five problem on this particular pattern so that this particular pattern sticks to your head. And the first problem on that pattern is aggressive cows. So what does the problem state? It states that you'll be given an array which does consist of n stalls. Now each of the stall coordinates is given to you. The first stall is at the coordinate 0, the next one is at coordinate 3, the next one at coordinate 4, the next one at coordinate 7, the next one at coordinate 10, and the next one at coordinate 9. Your task is to place 4 cows. If you take 1 cow, that 1 cow can go to either of any of the stalls. Any of the stalls it can go to. Your task is to place four cows in such a way that the minimum distance between any of the two cows, very important, the minimum distance between any of the two cows is the maximum. Might be confusing, but it is of this pattern. If you carefully see minimum and then maximum, it is of that pattern. Minimum distance between any two cows is the maximum possible. And you have to tell me that minimum distance. It's confusing for the first time. But when you understand the question, you'll understand it uh, in a much better way. So basically what it states is, these are the stalls given. If I have to maybe write the stalls in the correct order, the first stall is at 0, 3, and then 4, then 7, and then 9, and then 10. Just have written down them in the sorted order. If I tell you, can you place four cows? I'll be like, okay, cow 1, cow 2, cow 3, cow 4. This is one of the ways in which you can place cows, right? If I ask you, what is the distance between any of the two cows. It'll be like the distance between them is 3, the distance between them is 1, distance between them is 3, and maybe the distance between them and them is 4, and maybe the distance between them and them is uh, 4. So what is the minimum distance among all the cows, any two cows? You can take C1, C3, C1, C4, C2, C3, any combination. What is the minimum? Can I say the minimum is 1? And that will always be between consecutive cows. Like if you just figure out 3, if you just figure out 1, if you just figure out 3, you don't need the distance between these two. Because you're looking for the minimum. And the minimum will always happen to be between consecutive stalls. The minimum will always happen to be between consecutive stalls. That is the reason I sorted the stalls. Got it? So I know that the minimum is between the dis this one. So if I place it like this, I'll get the distance as 1. And that's what they're asking you. What is the minimum distance? between any two cows. That is what they're asking. What is the minimum distance between any two cows? You'll be like, okay, fine. Can I place it something like C1, C2, maybe C3, and maybe C4? I can, I can. Even if you place it like this, the distance between this is 4. The distance between this is 5. The distance between this is 1. You can take this as well. You can take this as well. doesn't matter. What's the minimum? That's 1. Still keeping it as 1. Still keeping it as 1. Can I place it something like, maybe a C1 here, maybe a C2 here, maybe a C3 here, maybe a C4 here, maybe. And then if I figure out the distance, the distance between this is 4, between this is 3, and between this is 3. What is the minimum between any of the two cows? You can take C2, C4 as well. What's the minimum? 4, 3, 3. What's the minimum? 3. So you can place the 4 cows in any configuration you like. But the core is, figure out the minimum distance between any of the two cows in that configuration. And over here it is 3. So I write it. And the task is saying, 
you have to place it in such a way that this minimum distance is maximum this minimum distance is maximum so if i have placed in this configuration the distance that i'm getting is 1 if i place it in this configuration the distance that i'm getting is 1 if i place it in this configuration the distance that i'm getting is 3 which one will you prefer if you're looking for max i prefer this because in this configuration the minimum is very big is very big so they are kind of at a distance so i can take this configuration and this will be my answer you can try out other configurations as well you will not be able to manage more than three like you can also try out something like maybe you can place a c1 here and you will say i'll place a c2 here which is basically at zero and at 10 so if you try to place this the distance is quite big 10 and you can say that that is the minimum distance but the question is clearly stating there are four cows you cannot get away by putting just two cows you have to put four cows exactly four cows not more not less exactly four cows in placing four cows whatever minimum you get that is what you consider so this is not a valid configuration this is not a valid configuration so you can route all the valid configurations and the minimum distance that you see whatever you get between any of the two cows you have to maximize that value so what is the first thing that we noticed since we require minimum distance between two cows we just need the consecutive stall distances there's no point in computing the farther stall distances because that will be big big i need min so just computing the consecutive stall distances will make it work the first thing that you'll do is this array will be non-sorted the stalls are in non-sorted order just go ahead and say can you please sort yourself can you please sort yourself because if i can place the cows and then i can easily compute the consecutive distances can i say maybe i can try out with one let's try out with one and see if that is possible i'll try to keep a minimum distance of one i will not place cows before one distance okay what is the ideal scenario where should you place your first cow you will be like strive i can place it here 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 or i can either place it here in either of the stalls the cow one can go but what is the ideal scenario where should you put it you want to put four cows you want to put four cows so like greedily you will try to take the first place and then look for the distance increase there's no point in putting it here because if you put it here you'll not be able to place four cows so the the faster you put the better it is for you because there is no cow before it so there is no need to think of the distance so that is why the ideal scenario will be to put the first cow at the first stall which is whatever index is given to you what what's the next i need to put the cow to and i need to make sure that the distance is one can i put a cow to here i can because the distance is three and i'm trying to keep a minimum distance of one i can so let's put a cow to can i put a cow three here i can because the distance is one so i can put a cow three over here right can i put a cow four i can because the distance is three and i can stop yeah i can go ahead and put cow six as well but there's no need i stop the moment i'm able to put four cows so what i see is if i'm take if i'm keeping a minimum distance of one also if i'm keeping a minimum distance of one also the distance is three it's one it's three it's still maintaining a one so i can one can be done one can be done with this possible configuration so i'll be like one can be done okay one can be done but i'm looking what am i looking for i'm looking for max so let's maybe take two and see if it is possible let's try can c1 be here yes again ideally always at the first place because i want to place more cows can i place c2 here yes because the distance will be three and i need to maintain a distance of two so i can okay let's see can i put a c3 here if i put a c3 here the distance is one but i've been asked to maintain a distance of two i have been asked to maintain a minimum distance of two so ideally c3 cannot be put here okay can a c3 be put here yes because i need to maintain a distance of four oh sorry i need to maintain a distance of two and the distance is four so possible can i put a dis uh, c4 here yes because the distance is two i've been asked to maintain a distance of two so done apparently after putting all the cows i see that this is 3 this is 4 and this is 2 i'm not violating i'm making sure that each of the cows 
is at least having a distance of 2. Perfect. So the minimum distance I get is 2. So I can say 2 is also possible. But what am I looking for? I'm looking for big, big numbers. So now I'll have to try with 3. Now I'll have to try with 3. Let's try with 3. C1 goes here. Can C2 go here? Yes, because the distance is 3. Can C3 go here? No, because the distance is 1. Can C3 go here? Yes, because the distance is 4. So C3 will go here. Can C4 will go here? No, because the distance is 2. Maintain 3. Can C4 go here? I'll say yes. Why? Because the distance is 3 and that is what I'm requiring for. 4 cows placed. Thereby 3 is also possible. Okay, with 3 also I can place 4 cows. The configurations can be uh, numerous. We need to just keep on making sure that it is possible or not. I'm not looking for configuration and looking for if it is possible or not. Okay, so time to increase the value because I'm looking for max. Let's check if it is possible for 4 or not. So what I will do is, I will kind of try to put a C1 here. Can I place a C2 here? No, because the distance is 3. Maintain a minimum distance of 4. Nah. Not possible. Can I put a C2 here? Yes, because the distance is 4 and I've been asked to maintain a distance of 4. Can I place a C3 here? No, because I've been asked to maintain a distance of... Can I put a C3 here? Yes. So C3 goes here. Can I put a C4 here? No, because the distance is 1. So if I maintain a distance of 4, if I maintain a distance of 4, I'm able to make sure the distance of 4 is maintained, but I'm not able to place all cows. I'm not able to place all cows. Not possible. Not possible. So what are we observing? It's possible till 3. And after 4, do you need to check for 5? Do you need to check for 5? The answer is no. Why? Very simple, yaar. Why will you check for 5? Just tell me this. Why will you check for 5? Because if at 4 it was not possible, if at 4 you could not place 4 cows, <laughs> at distance 5 you'll never be. At distance 6 you'll never be. At distance 7 you'll never be. It's not possible. So, I figured this out. That we have to start from 1 and we have to keep on checking, keep on checking till the max value. If I ask you, what is the max possible answer? Now remember one thing, the question clearly states that at minimum, at minimum the question will always have two cows. Like you'll never be given one cow because if you have one cow, you cannot find distance between two. At minimum, you'll always have two cows. That is what the question clearly states. If I ask you, what is the maximum distance till which you can go? Just think of test cases. I can think of test cases where the number of cows is 2. And the worst, like the farthest configuration can be, which is the minimum minus maximum. This can be the maximum distance possible that I can place some cow. Because whenever you're solving a problem, you cannot check for the value of cow. You can look for the extremist case. There where you're saying, the minimum distance of we know can be 1. And the farthest distance can be the max minus min. Again, this can be optimized as well. The range can be optimized as well if you start thinking, but that's not our main criteria. Main criteria is to solve the problem. So we'll try to solve the problem in the least complexity. You can optimize this, but that will not affect the time complexity much. But yeah, I'm sure that if I take this range, the answer will always be between this range. You can also take something like 1 and 10 to the power 9. That's also correct. That's also correct. You can take 1 and 10 to the power 9 and we are sure that the answer will be between them. That is also correct. But yeah, we are very much sure that even if cows are given as 2, this range will make sure that the answer is between them. So we know the range. If I have to write the linear search, can I write it like for i equal to something like maybe 1, and then we can go on till max minus min and then i plus plus. What do we need to check? Can we place cows? If can we place and we will pass on the array which has the stalls. Just make sure before the this you just sort the stalls in a possible order. You just see this and you pass on that this is what this is the minimum distance that you have to maintain. If this is making sure that we can place, by the way, also make sure that you pass in the number of cows because that is what he has to place. If it is able to place this much, we continue. We continue. 
if it is not able to please if you notice in the last example one was possible two was possible three was possible four was not possible so on four it will be true it will be false whenever it is false you say return the previous value because the previous value was possible that is your answer quite simple what about the time complexity we need to figure that out after we have implemented can we please if we can implement the can we please it is pretty much done let's quickly do the can we please so i'll i'll have to write a boolean function and it will say can we please cows and it will take these stalls it will take the minimum distance that you have to maintain and it will take the number of cows that you have to place can i say initially i can keep the count of cows to be 1 because i know the first cow will always go at the first index so which is like where is the uh, where is the coordinate you can say coordinate where is the first coordinate when the cow goes array of 0 because that is where you place the first cow that's very much ob obvious that you place the first cow here you have to look for the next so you start from here if a cow one is here you check can a cow to be placed so what do you do is you basically start iterating from i equal to 1 and you go until the last value of the stall let's try to place it if array of i minus the coordinate in which the last cow is wherever the last cow is maybe you can call it as last that will make much more sense the last cow was at this if the last cow array of i minus last cow is exceeding at least in maintaining that distance can i say i'll be able to place this particular cow here imagine i have a distance of 4 and place a cow one here and the cow two goes here and checks that the distance is 3 not possible cow one is here cow two possible possible so now this is your last this is your last where it was possible so you placed one more cow so can i say i have placed one more cow i have placed one more cow and now the last cow was placed at this index and now the last cow was placed at this index and you can terminate it you can terminate it at the end of the day at the end of the day if the number of cows rather the count of cows if you are able to place more than the required number of cows that means you are you are able to place cows by maintaining a minimum distance by maintaining a minimum distance thereby you go ahead and return that uh, it is possible or else you say it is not possible where you can say return false and by the way uh, this particular statement can return inside the for loop as well so that you don't do a lot of iterations the moment you reach the number of cows you say return true return i don't want to place more cows if done cows return and this is making sure that you keep a track where was the last place because in order to compute distance in order to compute distance imagine you are placing it here you have to compute it with c2 not with c1 that is why just keep a track where the last was placed i hope this can we please makes sense what if now if i ask you the time complexity what is, what is it i'm going till max minus min so that's like going till max minus min multiplied by big o of n because you're going through the entire thing what about the space that's a big o of 1 obviously the interviewer will not be happy with this one because you are utilizing some extra like it's a quadratic time complexity and i'll ask you to optimize it this is when we will move to the binary search solution so can we apply binary search we can because we have already done similar problems if you remember one was possible two was possible three was possible four is not possible 5 is not possible 6 is not possible and it will go on till 10 which is also not possible why 10 because the maximum that you can have is 0 minus 10 so it's not possible we know a section where it is possible we know a section where it is not possible what are we looking for by the way this will be cross and what are we looking for we're looking for the max possible answer so go ahead and do it you are at low you are at a high can we perform the binary search we can so the low is pointing to the first possible answer that is 1 and the high is pointing to the last possible answer that is 10 if i have to figure out the mid it is 1 plus 10 by 2 5.5 so the mid will be 5 is 5 possible no so everything on the right is also not possible yes 
So basically the high will move to this place. Perfect. I can omit this mid. And what I can do is I can also keep an answer variable as minus one. Okay. Now what is the mid? The value of mid will be one plus four by two. That's 2.5. So that's two as an integer. Is two possible? He says, yes, it is possible. And if you remember, if it is possible, you're looking for max. So anything on the left will be small. So what do you do is you store the two. You store the two. And you say, hey, can you move to one place ahead? So he moves to one place ahead. So he moves to one place ahead. Now what will be the mid? 3 plus 4 by 2 is 3.5. So the mid is there. Is 3 possible? Whether this is eliminated. Is 3 possible? Yes, 3 is possible. 3 is possible. You update your answer to 3. And what do you do is? You just say that, okay, 3 is possible. I'm looking for max. Increase. So the left portion will go because on the left you'll get smaller values. So increase. And when you're increasing, where will the low go? Low will go to 1 plus mid. So that's one place ahead. Next, when you try to find the mid, the mid will also be pointing to this. Is it possible? Not possible. If it is not possible, you eliminate. You eliminate the right. And whenever you eliminate the right, the high moves to one place before mid. So this is here. The low is pointing here. And that's when you stop the binary search. And that's when you stop the binary search. And on stopping, the answer is stored as 3, which will be your possible answer. But do we need the answer variable? No. If you have been seeing the playlist, you know how to find it. Yes, yes, you know it. First one, low was at a possible point. High was at a impossible point Most of the, in most of the cases. So low will always go to the opposite polarity. Not possible. High will always go to a possible polarity. So which one will be your answer? High is always going to be your answer. I hope that makes sense. So no need to use an extra variable answer. So we don't need to store any particular answer variable. And for anyone who's watching my playlist from the first, he knows the polarity process. And if in case you're watching it for the first time, it's very simple. The low is pointing to high, like possible case. The high is pointing to non-possible case. Binary search will make sure that it ends up at a not possible place. And this ends up at a possible place. It just changes polarity. Possible goes to non-possible. Not possible goes to possible. Since we are looking for a possible answer, hence high will be my answer. Got it? So we just need to return the high. No need of storing any extra variable answer. Got that? So let's quickly write down the pseudo code. It's going to be super simple. I take the array. I take uh, the number of cows. Yeah, that's it. And I say low will be zero and the high will be pointing to max minus min, which is which can be straight away written as a of n minus one minus of a of zero. And I can say uh, sort array comma array plus n. This is in C++. You, you can figure out the alternative in Java as well. And the other languages. Just figure out your sort method. And then what I can do is while low is lesser than equal to high. What do we do? We figure out the mid. Because that is what we have to maintain as a distance. And we say can we place. We call the function that we have written in the linear search. We call the function that we have written in the linear search. Can we place in the array with a distance of mid and these many cows? If you can place, if you can place, this is a possible answer. This is a possible answer. Maybe you can store it in an answer. And we need bigger values. So look for the right half because the right half has bigger values. Or else look for smaller values because that's not possible. And at the end of the day, the while loop will end here and then you can return the high or you can return the answer as well. Your wish, either high or either answer and then you end up the function. This is how easy it is. This is the reason at first I do the linear search because once you understand the linear search, it's super simple to convert it into a binary search. So what will be the time complexity? Sorting at first, so that's an n login. Plus, you're doing a binary search, so that's a log base 2 and the range is this. So goes to this. Multiplied with a big O of n because we are calling a can we place which takes a big O of n. So this will be the overall time complexity. This multiplied with this plus the sorting and login. And what is the external space? Nothing. Big O of n. Sorry, big O of n is the external space that we are using. So let's quickly get back into the code editor and check out the code. By the way, you can figure out the C++, Java, Python, JavaScript codes from the notes in the description. And also you can find out the problem link in the description itself to try it out. 
So I've written the exact same code and I've just taken the conditional statement inside the for loop. The moment you get the number of calls that you require, stop. Or after the, after it, if you don't find it, just return false. There's other thing, low I've written as one. You can experiment and you can actually increase the value of low. Uh, the low can go to something like uh, min of all consecutive dif like distance differences. Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, so if I go to this example, uh, not the, yeah, not this one, yeah, this one. So the difference between this is three. The difference between this is one. The difference between this is three. The difference between this is uh, three. The difference between this is one. So if you take the consecutive differences uh, and whatever is the minimum of that, you can just change it to that as well. But I don't want to complicate it. You can think and uh, trim down the range more as well but that's not required because the core of the problem is to solve it unless like if you're taking it 10 to the power 9 then the interview might have an issue if you're taking it like this it's okay he will not care that much so yeah you can uh, try trimming it down as well but yeah this one will be working fine in interviews as well if you're still watching i i hope you've understood everything and in case you have please please uh do consider giving us that like and if you're new to our channel what are you waiting for Hit that subscribe button right away. And uh, yes, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, you can find out all the profile links in the description. Make sure you uh, follow me there as well. And with this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's finish some of the videos and then bye bye. Take care. Whenever your heart is broken.